Currently in Keene, Texas, we're about 30 minutes south of Fort Worth. This is the Sonic here, and a murder happened about four days ago as the recording of the video. And the murderer is 12 years old. May 13th, 2023, about 9.40 p.m., police receive a call of somebody shot here at this Sonic. When the paramedics and the police arrived, they seen a man suffering from multiple gunshot wounds somewhere in this parking lot right here. His name was Matthew Davis. He was 32 years of age. He worked at the Sonic. And as the police are getting witness testimony, a helicopter comes and life flights him to Harris Methodist in Fort Worth, where he sadly gravely passed away from his injuries. Uh, this is a roadside memorial. Uh, somebody had just about a minute ago left a, a couple of um, this pot right here. Let me fix that. Okay, so this is the uh, memorial that was left for Matthew. This story is still somewhat new, so I'm not exactly sure. I, you know, to tell you the truth, there's really not much uh, to the story. So according to eyewitnesses, I'm sure the people that worked at this Sonic, the altercation between Matthew and a customer, one 20 year old Angel Gomez began when apparently Matthew seen Angel urinating behind uh, this uh, restaurant right here. And he went out to confront him. In case you guys don't know about Sonic, uh, Sonic is kind of like a, um, it's an unusual fast food chain. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a drive-in themed restaurant where you pull in right here. I know there's you know a lot of Sonics that, are in the country but a lot of people never heard of this place you basically pull in here and you order food from right there and um at sonics i don't believe because i don't come here very often i don't believe there is a public restroom because there's nowhere inside uh to order you basically come in here in your car or if you don't have a car you can just basically order right there so there's places to eat outside but basically there's gonna be uh i believe no public restrooms so this guy would have been urinating i imagine somewhere over here somewhere in the back of this uh restaurant and matthew came out to confront him and uh quite possibly the uh altercation quickly turned physical and uh, according to the witnesses a passenger that was riding in angel's car pulled out uh, what they refer to as a uh, an AR-15 style rifle and fired it about six times and if you guys know those guns are really 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 loud and this is not a very big town at all so a lot of people in this neighborhood right around this area heard those gunshots and a lot of people said right at around six gunshots sounded off and then I don't know how many times exactly Matthew was hit. So afterwards, the 12 year old shooter and Angel jump in his car and then they leave the area. But however, later on, Angel came back, presumably to turn himself in. And uh, he was booked into the jail here in Keene uh, on a murder charge. Uh, the 12 year old is also in some kind of a juvenile facility. He's also charged with murder as well. However, I don't know if he's being charged as an adult. I have never heard of a 12 year old being charged uh, as an adult. So as the recording of this video, unless a new law has come out and I don't know about it, uh, he's probably gonna be charged as a juvenile. But again, different states have different laws. And I'd be lying to you if I said I knew the laws of Texas and how that works. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So um, I'll wait for updates to this case and I'll put it in the description box uh, below so you guys can 
kind of know what ends up happening with this case. I, I see this case uh, taking quite some time uh, to uh, make its way through the courts. But yeah, no, that guy just, you know, seeing some dude just urinating and, you know, granted, I'm sure there's cars out here and people are having to see that. So who knows? I don't know if maybe he went try to go behind a dumpster or I have no idea, but um, all because of that, uh, a young man lost his life. We're going to go back to September 11th of 2021. I'm on the corner of Kingswood and Alta Mesa Road here in Fort Worth, Texas. On that evening, 24-year-old Hamza Faraj is working DoorDash delivering food with his wife, Adalia. Somewhere in this neighborhood right here, Hamza was driving and almost got hit by a truck, maybe a four-door truck, gray. He honked his horn at the truck because he almost hit him. Hamza drives to this intersection right here. This truck turns around, comes back. The back window rolls down. Whoever was sitting in that seat pulls out a gun and shoots Hamza. Immediately his wife is screaming and frantic, calls 911. They come to this intersection, take him to the hospital where he's pronounced dead. This memorial right here was left in his memory. A heart like heaven left to tell me that good people don't last long. I believe this guy was born in Iraq and later went to Syria and then he might have immigrated to Turkey, don't quote me, and then he came to the United States. It was his dream to come out here like millions and millions of people and he lived his dream and was cut down by a small little person with a very fragile ego killed him because he honked at him. As the recording of this video, this murder is still unsolved. There's a murderer out there. He might be your brother. He might be your father, and there is absolutely no description of the person responsible for this crime.